Okay, where are you right now? All right. From the bus stop, go 80 meter north. And then when you reach the post office, turn right and walk another 30 meter. And then, or oh wait, I will send you my location. Turn on Google Maps and reach here. Giving direction and knowing your position can be a real pain at times. But luckily, we have tools like Google Maps to know our location and know where to go. Did you know Numbers had a Google Map of its own? We call this navigation system as coordinate system. In today's class, we will find our way through this topic called coordinates geometry. Time we try to locate something, we need a reference point with respect to which we can say where our object is. For example, my friend trying to reach my house has to move 80 meter from the bus stop. So here our reference point is the bus stop. In math, we will consider two straight lines perpendicular to each other. We will call these lines as the coordinate axis. The point of intersection of these axes is called the origin. So, this origin and the axis are what we will use our reference. Say, I give you a scale and ask you to describe the position of this point. You could say that this point is 5 cm to the right from the zero mark of the scale. Now, this line is one dimension. If we have an object in a plane, what we do is, we use two scales. Let us call this scale X and this Y. Our point is 5 cm from the zero on the X scale and 3 cm from the zero on the Y scale. So, this point can be represented by the pair of number 5 and 3. This means that the point is 5 units from the 0 on the x-axis and 3 units from the 0 on the y-axis. This pair of number which is address of this point is what we call the coordinate of the point or the Cartesian product of the point. This system of locating a point using perpendicular axis is called Cartesian coordinate system. The plane where the point exists is called Cartesian plane or the coordinate plane. The perpendicular axes are called the coordinate axis. This is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. The address of a point on this plane is written as two numbers in brackets separated by a comma. We already learned that this is called the coordinate of this point or its Cartesian product. The first number is called the abscissa and this is the ordinate. So for our point 5,3 the abscissa or the x coordinate is 5 and the ordinate or the y coordinate is 3. So now we know how to find the address of any point in this plane. But what if our point is over here, left of our 0? What we do here is we divide the entire area into 4 quarters called 4 quadrants. The point of intersection of these two axes is the origin. The address of origin is 0, 0. On the x-axis, right of this origin is considered positive and the left as negative. On the y-axis, number above 0 is considered positive, below 0 is negative. So let's try plotting a few points on this Cartesian plane. In this first quadrant, this point is 5 units to the right of the 0 
and three units above zero. So our point is five comma three. This point is two units to the left of zero and four units above zero. We have already discussed that numbers to the left of zero are considered negative. So this point can be described as minus two comma four. Now this point is five unit to the left of zero and four unit below. So this point, according to the sign convention we use, will be minus five minus four. Wherever the point B, we always write the coordinate of the point always in the form of an ordered pair x comma y. The first number will be always the abscissa or the x coordinate and the second will be the ordinate or the y coordinate. And this point will be 5 minus 3. So you see in the first quadrant both the x and y coordinate are positive. In the second quadrant the x coordinate is negative while y is positive. Third quadrant has both x and y negative. In the fourth quadrant, the abscissa is positive while the ordinate is negative. Having a system like this to locate points in space can be very helpful. It's like having a tool to help you build and play with a lot of things. So in another video, let us see and appreciate this tool called coordinate geometry. Happy learning!